Where you wanna go? Uh, don't play with the window. Oh, thank you. Come in, Nico. Aye. So, you fought in the war. You know a lot. Yes, you're looking for some people. We're all looking for that special someone. But most of us don't want to kill them when we find them. Most murders are committed by people you know. Most wives are killed by their husbands. Yes, and my wife had better stop sleeping with that tennis coach or... <laughs> I'm joking. I'm sure your wife doesn't need to sleep around. Well, I'm joking. I'm sure she does. Funny. I'm divorced. My wife can sleep with whoever she wants. Interesting. I'm not divorced. I was never married. No details. I need you to go find someone for me. I'll be getting a picture through shortly. This is important. So why use me? We always use people like you. Karen, Michelle, she was the same. Someone with something to lose, but not much to live for. What's in it for me? Two things. One, you don't get a hundred murders pinned on you. Two, maybe I will help you. And maybe I won't. Now, get access to a police computer and wait for my message. Go! The triangle. An LCPD peacekeeper will be there as soon as possible, sir.
I found this place. There are a bunch of guys hanging around. Well, he must be in there, Nico. Dispose of them all. We're doing a favor for our comrades in the East. You better start doing me some favors soon. There is nowhere to run. your purpose? Yes. Then you are that much closer to finding the man you are after. That strange feeling deep inside? That's the feeling of satisfaction after you did something good. Congratulations. Goodbye.
All I'm saying is that we'll all be judged in the end. All of your brothers. And you, Patrick. And you, Kate. Who's going to judge Kate? What would she win if they did? Virgin of the Year? Oh. I'm thinking maybe you can catch VD for both Fuck of us, you, Patrick. Katie. Language. Sorry, Ma. Ho, ho, there he is. Mr. Fucking Crazy Man. You want a beer? No. Good, because I ain't fucking got none. Very funny. Maybe if being a drunkard doesn't work out, you can be a comedian. Fuck off. <laughs> and you, Kate, fuck off out of here. But aren't you going to introduce us? Sure. This is Nico, some drug dealing to fucking generate from some armpit in Eastern Europe. That's my ma. Nice to meet you. Hi. And this is my sister. Lovely lass, scared to bits of life. And fucking off out of here right now before I throw a fucking bottle at her. Patrick. Nice to meet you. Likewise. See you around. Bye. What a girl. I think she likes you. Word to the wise, though. She don't put out. Which is convenient, because if she did, I'd have to kill you. Understood. Good lad. You got any drugs on you, boy? No. Nope. Shit. Well, probably a good thing. We got some business to take care of. Come on. We've got business out at the docks in Algonquin. Where's your car, man? We need a car. Okay, there's a ship coming in, and we're the welcoming party. Who are we welcoming, and what have they got that makes this drive worth the effort? We're welcoming some of our cousins from the east, but we don't know what it is that they're bringing in. Exactly. All we know is that it's worth a dollar or two. My brother Gerald had word about it through this Italian, Ray Bacino. He gave us the heads up in exchange for a cut of the haul. What makes you think that the information is legit? First off, I don't trust this guinea for a second. We wouldn't be working for him if our family still had the same status it did back in the day. But that's another story. Am I going to hear this story? Anyone who hangs around my family hears about the old days. Just wait. Oh yeah, Ray Bacino's a slimy motherfucker. The one thing you can rely on him for is greed. I'm too small time to be worth setting up, so the one angle he can be playing is the cash one. Makes sense. Yeah, he'll probably try to give us a fraction of whatever this stuff's worth, but it'll be a fun night. Depends on what you think is fun. A stealing, gunfire, car chases, all the usual stuff. Usual for you and me, maybe. General population, I'm not so sure. General population? That's a prison term. You ever been inside? Not in this country. In Europe. They do things different there. Not so much of the fun in the shower that you guys have here in America. Must have been a real disappointment. Bet a guy like you thought he was gonna be real popular with the lifers. Did no one pay you any attention? As I said, the whole prison bitch thing is an American phenomenon. It don't happen on the other side of the ocean. Well, you gotta do some time over here. See what you've been missing out on in your chased European jails. I'm going to pass on that. Send me a postcard if you do some time. Will do. Might even put you on the visitors list. I'd be fucking touched. You'd be touched if you did some time. All right, here we are. What's the plan? We get up on the roof of that warehouse. There should be a good view of the dock oh, so we can scope that shit you. out. We're going this way. This really wasn't made with us criminals in mind.
This is where the deal's meant to be going down. And here's the boat, right on time. See those boxes on the back of the boat? They must be bringing clone meds. Meds? Yeah, stuff that'll stop housewives cutting their wrists and make their husbands get wood. Meds. Molly, sedatives, antidepressants, meds. Okay, how do we do it? We'll wait until the truck is loaded, then we'll take it. Simple as that. I'll cover you from up here while you're down on the ground cleaning up. These better be some good fucking pills. The housewives better be grateful.
sorry. I quit. Please don't kill me. All right, Nico, you drive. I'll take out anyone who tries to follow us. We're going up to Ray's lockup in Westminster off of Union Drive West. Stuff all in there. Sure is. All safe and sound. Whole truckload of it. A lot of wives and mistresses are gonna be happy when their men get a hold of those, huh? Whole city's gonna be hard in a few days' time. Who's this? That's my boy Nico. He's an absolute savior. Couldn't have done it without him. Nico! Come over here! You work for these mick bastards. Fucking guinea. I work for whoever's paying. I might give you a call sometime. Get in, Packy. Hey, I'll catch you around, man. Okay. Okay. Yet problem.
What's up, money? Hey, man. Business is tough. Now, I ain't a cold person. I mean, I am cold, but... Motherfucker. What are you talking about? You want a drink? Uh, man, have a seat, man. All right. Now, I got into this dope gang because it was the only thing that was open to me. Man. The only thing, man. Hey, I am not judging. No. Listen. Now, I paid my dues. Now, I learned in a hard school, man. And I changed stuff. You know me. I do this stuff so I got a chance to do some good in this town. So you say. So I say. So I do. When I get the money, man, I will build parks. I will sponsor kids. I will save lives. But I gotta have the money, man. Is all this? All this? It means nothing if you ain't got the heart, Nico. Amen, brother. <laughs> I mean, fuck, man. Fuck! The thing is, you know, Jesus, he did some crazy shit, too. I mean, everyone does. He killed people. He killed that John the Baptist cat. He did what he had to. I don't think you're correct about that. Man, the point is, man, history is a long time. And you only got one chance. And Dwayne, man, Dwayne, it's like he thinks it's 1992. And the best that you can hope for is a gold chain and a page. You know, he looks at me like he wants me dead. I took care of business. I gave him money. But well, because I won't bow down to him and treat him like he the almighty, motherfucker wants to pop me. Dwayne is a little troubled. He was in prison a long time. Maybe you guys should talk. No, I tried talking. No, I, I, I tried giving him half of the business. I tried everything a man could reasonably try and still call himself a man. <laughs> so what you gonna do? Kill him? Hey, I didn't say that. Man, you cold. I was joking. But what else is there? I mean, Cash been talking. Now I hear things. Said you and me was too tight now. Said you disrespected. Called him mad. He's gone crazy. I mean, he's gone. Prison does that. Well, you can't kill him. Nope. But you can. But I don't want to. Well, neither do I, man. But if he goes insane, we all dead anyway. I mean, Dwayne is a killer. Uh, I don't like this conversation. But do you think that I do? But it's kill or be killed out there. You got a lunatic after you? Man, you dumb. <coughs> now, I will give you a lot of money. Because see me? Now, I ain't scared of no one. But a motherfucker says he's gonna kill me, the motherfucker's gonna die. Hmm. Man, I'm not sure. I got to think about it. Well, I hope you see some sense. I will be in touch. He's got work, and he's a good guy. You're not planning on taking him down, are you? Lay off him, for me. I'm not planning on taking him down. He's my damn brother, you idiot. Packy McCreary, Francis McCreary. It's all starting to make sense. 
I knew Irish families were big, but I didn't expect to run into brothers in the place the size of Liberty City. Yeah, just thank the Lord you ran into Packy and not my other brothers. Packy's just a hood, but Gerald is into some serious shit. And Derek, he's the worst. If that asshole ever comes back from Ireland, I can't be held responsible for what I do. My yeah, brothers ain't I'm no good, Nico. No. Trust me on that. You know what? Me and Packy get along. Maybe if doing what you do is good, then I want to be no good instead. I should meet the other McCreary's. Be careful what you wish for. Have you ever heard of friends with benefits? 